I'm going to be covering something in this video that a lot of people really don't understand how to read and how to understand all the information that is actually presented to them. So in this video, I'm going to go walk through everything there is in the balance sheet. I used to have a bunch of little overlays all over the screen, having like Gen Z finance up and above. I'm sorry. I removed that now because just so you guys can actually properly see the screen and everything that is on the screen so nothing's getting blocked. My big face isn't blocking everything kind of trying to make it a little smaller so it is way more easier to watch the stock we're going to use for the balance sheet tutorial is of course the big one and only apple here everyone knows apple that's why i'm using this example so you're going to want to click on the financials here and then you're going to want to click on oh look at that revenue 273 billion in revenue craziness okay you're gonna want to click on the balance sheet so here we have the entire balance sheet a bunch of numbers all over the place where do we start all right let's start this off with the assets guys okay the assets are what the company owns outright in full so they own 100 percent of everything there so everything they have in their assets are the pretty straightforward things you should understand everything that's in the asset category so you're sitting on they're sitting on 100 billion dollars in cash they're sitting on 51 billion in short-term investments so they could put that in stocks uh bonds any short kind of short kind of term investment that they're getting a short-term gain on there so they're sitting on 51 million 51 billion in investments and then they have 48 billion in cash next we have the net receivables so the net receivables are um something when a, a a company or some someone owes them money so this is the money they'll be receiving 22.9 billion dollars at some point in this quarter from these companies that owe them money so that's good that's in the assets if you see like a high net receivable number that is good news for the company for sure inventory so they're sitting on four billion dollars in inventory which means they have four billion dollars worth of uh iphones max all that kind of you know all the products they sell and then the other current assets would be anything any other kind of current assets so it would be like licensing like ownership uh, copyrights all that sort of thing so next we're gonna go to the non-current assets so non-current assets are basically like the company's longer term assets longer term investments so here you can see that I need to sneeze <laughs> noise sorry about that but now we are looking at the gross property plant and equipment so that's basically anything that they have from stores headquarters uh other things like manufacturing equipment all that sort of thing and then you have your accumulated depreciation so that's basically when you have an asset here that actually depreciates in value so it's like holding a car so you buy a brand new car and then the car depreciates in value after the first year driving it so you'll lose around 20 percent of its actual value so that's what happens here They've lost 58 billion in accumulated depreciation, so their net property in plant and equipment is actually 37 billion here. And they also own other other equity and investments, so other equities and other companies or other just long longer term investments. So they have 105 billion dollars in that as well. And then you have intangible assets and goodwill. These aren't physical physical things it's just like 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 again like the licensing and just like the overall like the worth of their the brand apple right now they have nothing down here but in the other years they had a couple billion dollars in these columns and last but not least they have other long-term assets so more longer term investments there so they have a total asset here for 338 billion dollars for apple here absolutely monstrous company they are so right now they're sitting on 248 billion in liabilities so guys on the liability column here we have current debt so any any debt that the the company has right now it, it's a short-term debt so it has to be paid very very soon we already know the company's sitting on 100 billion 
dollars in cash and cash equivalents so that's good there so they don't have to worry about that that'll be able to get paid off as well as accounts payable so this will be anything like Sears logic guys that is one of my investments here they're gonna have to be able to, they're gonna have to pay Sears logic a good sum of their money there that's why they're it's they have accounts payable so it's all the companies that they have to pay if they have to pay for certain manufacturing leases for their buildings leases for their stores all that kind of thing so that's money that's getting taken away from apple so you want to see that number at the lowest as possible but in this case 46 billion so just know that accounts payable is money taken from you and accounts receivable is money that you are gaining from others so the deferred tax liabilities and deferred revenues means um, the company has paid for a service or a product or something in advance but haven't yet gotten it yet so they're waiting to receive what they wanted what they purchased but right now they haven't purchased anything so that's why it's blank but if a company has purchased something but hasn't actually received it yet that will end up in the deferred revenues and deferred tax liabilities also Last but not least, you got the other long-term liabilities. So it could be anything to uh, just longer, longer debt payments or like, you know, like something that they'll be paying way, like way in the future, like long term, like longer than long-term debt, guys, like longer than long-term debt. Now all the hard stuff is past us. Oh, it's all gone. Don't worry. You made it. You made it, you understand assets and liabilities. Now for the stockholder equity. So there's not 90 billion worth of stockholders equity. So that's like me investing in another company. If I invest $500 in Apple, that will appear here and it will be added to this. So in total, Apple is $90 billion from investors. So the investors hold $90 billion of the equity in the company. Now, they have 45 billion from the common stock and they have 45 billion in retained earnings. So retained earnings is the company's leftover cash after paying dividends at, for, to the shareholders. So the whole purpose of a balance sheet is for the assets and liabilities to equal each other. So right here, they would add the total liabilities and the total stockholders equity to equal the total liabilities and stockholders equity for 338 billion and that will equal their total assets as well all right guys that concludes my video on how to read a balance sheet thank you guys for sticking around to the end if you guys want more stock market related videos like this one please make sure you guys do like comment and subscribe and have a great day